all right welcome back to crypto front this is the front line where we are fighting for financial freedom in this video i'm gonna be sharing with you my top five altcoins that i think are gonna just do fantastic in the sui ecosystem and really why are we talking about this ecosystem the momentum is with sui right at this point i mean take a look at this statistic within two years of mainnet launch they have actually achieved more than one billion dollars in terms of total value locked in this is something that is very much big and again this validates that sui is actually the top narrative right at this point so i also want you to understand two things real fast number one that narrative is very important for the price to do well now when you've got a strong narrative you have a strong community the price is going to be pumping and when the price pumps what does it do it actually encourages and invites more people to join the ecosystem and when that happens obviously the demand of the coin really goes exponential so it's more like a gift that really keeps giving now this is exactly what is happening with sweet right now it's really hot as i said initially and uh, of course with that we are seeing more and more growth piling up now in my humble opinion i don't necessarily think that the best opportunity is in sweet itself but i believe that if we go down just a little bit into the ecosystem the sweet ecosystem we will find fantastic gems and that's why i'm specifically making this video for you today because i see massive potential at least something like 50x from each of those ones right and in the worst case scenario if one or two or three of them really goes on to hit the 50x still you're gonna be so much so much profitable right so let's quickly get into it real quick here i'll start with the price of sui which you can see here on the left and really i have been looking at this for months right at this point and uh, throughout the whole summer i was likening this kind of move that we were seeing with what solana was doing back then in 2020 and uh, like i can tell you there are striking similarities you can even see the kind of bottoming structure that we were having here is almost the same thing too that we are having with sui and uh, with that obviously the rise towards the upside has also been something that is very much similar now the only question is as we were seeing with solana back then in 2020 is sui also going to have some kind of a pullback to back test the previous breakout level here so this is the only thing that remains to be seen but even in that scenario i don't necessarily think that it's going to be ultimately bearish for sui because i think that it's going to be able to recover and really lead the market once again so whether we get a massive rejection or not i think it's very much clear that the momentum is still with sui and of course eventually when the market recovers sui is also going to just be doing well potentially going on to set new highs so now let's go back and talk about the opportunities that i was mentioning earlier on but when you come here to defy llama and you take a look at the leading chains like ethereum tron solana binance Smart Chain, arbitrum base chain avalanche and so forth there is something that you are going to be seeing happening consistently right for example come here to ethereum what you are going to see is that you know if you take a look at the leading categories and the protocols in here you're going to see liquid staking lending restaking decentralized exchanges and really these things are holding a lot of total value logged in here when you come to tron you are seeing almost the same thing lending real world assets decentralized exchanges as well when you come here to solana almost the same thing really it's liquid staking decentralized exchanges like radium and jupiter you come here to binance smart chain again you are seeing almost the same trend landing decentralized exchange liquid staking so forth when you come here to arbitrum a little bit the same thing while they're lending derivatives decentralized exchange lending yield decentralized exchange and you come here to the base chain again decentralized exchange lending decentralized exchange lending lending and so forth so what you see here in each and every single of the successful chains is a pattern of decentralized exchanges lending protocols as well as staking so when you come here to sui what are the things that we are looking for if this is going to be the next biggest thing right we have to look for the obvious things lending decentralized exchanges and stuff like that and this really is where my point is so when we take a look at the ecosystem obviously there are some things which are not in here so we've got things like navy protocol which is a decentralized exchange if i'm not wrong then we also have got scallop land which is a lending protocol sui land again this is actually coming from the solana blockchain it was supposed to be so land but they ended up migrating to sui because it was just much better for them in terms of development there's also seras which is another decentralized exchange but as i mentioned a little bit earlier on not every great project is mentioned in here and this is where i'm coming in right so let me show you those things number one here we've got navi protocol is trading at 17 cents right now with a total market cap of something like 28 million dollars meaning that this thing can actually grow much higher now the only thing that i probably don't like about this and why i'm ranking it a little bit like last is because of the unlocks that you know really happen very much aggressively you can see here that uh, there is an unlock you know today there will be another unlock a week later and stuff like that and um, the inflation is a little bit high so in a market where you know things are going a little bit flat it probably means that the price will be much more likely to be surprised towards the downside but of course these things really don't matter much in a raging bull market because the demand is really going to be too much exponential whatever supply is going to be coming in 
will be quickly absorbed and probably nobody will be noticing that there is a lot of dilution that is happening so this is a disadvantage in a flat market or maybe in a market that is trending towards the downside but other than that i think that still this thing could have a massive opportunity now we're talking about 50x is it possible that thing can reach a 50x in terms of its market cap already there are going to be more tokens added to the circulating supply so if the price is maintained the market cap of course will naturally be growing but just to be conservative here and also understanding that there is potential dilution that can happen to this thing i think it can easily reach something like a 25x easily the second project i want to talk about is scallop and i think in terms of dilution this is actually a little bit much better but obviously it has a higher market cap which is right around 50 million dollars now is it possible that scallop can do something like a 50x probably not because for you to do a 50x you would have to have a total market cap of about 2.5 billion dollars that is a little bit too much to ask maybe it's possible but i just don't see it as something that is very much likely so because of that i'll be waiting this one maybe for something like a 15x now in that situation you'd be anticipating a market cap of something like 750 million dollars i think it's something that is possible so let's see what happens there the next thing that i'm bullish on is set as protocol this is another decentralized exchange of course i also have got concerns that i have with the previous things that i've mentioned here that the dilution here is going to be too much we have got a total supply of about uh, 1 billion but right now we only have like 320 million tokens that are circulating so more are supposed to come but again this will only be important in a market that is struggling in a market that is really raging towards the upside none of this actually matters right so right now we are sitting at a market cap of something like 55 million dollars and uh, again asking for something like a 50x from this one will be meaning that you want to see something like a 2.5 billion dollars so I'll also be lowering my expectations here a little bit and probably targeting something like a 20x putting the market cap right around a billion dollars the concerns to be honest with you are almost the same thing that we have got like a very aggressive vesting schedule and uh, because of that maybe a lot of early players will decide to dump on the project real fast now this is really where i get much more bullish this project is called suiswap number one it carries the name suiswap and i think it can easily remind people of something like a uniswap but other than that the thing here is if you come to coingecko.com you see that everything is in circulation right at this point a total of 10 billion tokens they are all circulating already so there is no further dilution that can be coming into this one it's at a market cap of eight million dollars right at this point i think two weeks ago i was sharing this project with patreon members and the market cap was at four million dollars so at eight million dollars i think you can easily reach something like a 50x here because you only be having a market cap of something like 400 million dollars i think this one is actually much more easy and according to my strategy i was actually putting much more money into swiss swap because of this opportunity eight million dollars and everything is in circulation it carries the name so i think that more than the previous ones this one actually carries much much more strength now the last one that i'm very much bullish on is sui pad the reason why i'm very much bullish on this one is because if the sui blockchain is really going to be the next big thing projects are going to have to launch and where do they launch on obviously they need a launch pad right and this is where sui pad actually comes into play again the name is great when it comes to circulation and stuff like that it has about 70 percent that is already circulating so again the dilution here is much less compared to the rest of the other things and uh the market cap right now is 7.5 million dollars again for you to get a 50x here you are only looking at something like a 400 million dollars in terms of market cap this is something that is very much possible so according to my analysis i think that sweeped and swap have got the biggest opportunity but then again we have things like scallop we've got things like navy protocol and um the other one was set as mind they also have got a say in this and um, we want to be diversified a little bit so i think that the minimum that we can get from these things is something like a 15x but the best that we can get is probably more than a 50x as we can see from suiped and suiswap now if you have got these altcoins like five of them and you want to be dividing maybe let's say a thousand dollars into these ones and let's say you allocate 250 dollars into suiswap 250 dollars into suiped 500 dollars total multiplied by a 50x you will potentially be able to acquire something like twenty-five thousand dollars from 500 dollars now in this situation you can afford the worst to go to zero because you would have essentially turned a thousand dollars into twenty five thousand dollars right not even touching the other things now will the remaining three go to zero i don't think so i don't believe so as i said i think that the minimum that we can expect is something like a 15x so again this is how i'm evaluating the scenarios here and uh considering i've got a thousand dollars I want to deploy it in the ecosystem in the sui ecosystem can i just buy sui no because i'll probably only get something like a 5x from it but again if i get a little bit deeper into the ecosystem there is a potential 50x that is lying there this is where i'm putting much more of my money so 
yeah, I want you guys to tell me what you think about this. I also want you guys to take a look at the activity that our partners over there at Bing X, the exchange have provided for the community. The links will be somewhere there in the description box. And uh, I think this is a fantastic one, right? 29 days until it expires. So if you participate in this event, if you meet the depositing requirements and stuff like that, they are actually willing to give you you know, vouchers that you can be using to redeem if you happen to incur losses in your trades and stuff like that. This is a fantastic one. There's also this new user limited time event where you could win up to something like $5,450 and on top of that, we have the ton tokens. So go ahead, check out the links in the description and then you'll be able to participate in the events if you want. I also want to invite you to cf2kit.com. This is where you can access the toolkit that I was preparing for you all summer. This will teach you how to set up your own charts and indicators and all the nitty gritties that go into this market. The goal here is to make you an independent trader and a successful one for that matter. 90 to 95% of the investors and traders in this market are actually losing money and you don't need to be part of that. So go ahead and check it out. It has got like good ratings and you can purchase the ticket for $35. It has got up to 34 videos that you can be owning the worst of your life. So with that being said, just remember none of what I say is financial advice and you shouldn't be buying or selling anything because of anything I sell, right? If you like the content, don't forget to delicately tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.